do ba do ba do 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 Okay, welcome back to Donkey Cow Country. Uh, in the last episode, we quite literally made it very far to the level and ended up getting our asses handed to us. I don't remember how that happened. Um, yeah, as you can see, I don't really... <laughs> Jesus shit. I don't really watch my videos that much. Um, I just watch them once to edit them. Yeah, we got uh, this piece of shit again. Just because my save state in the last video um, screwed up. So, obviously we have to redo this level. So we didn't really lose any progress, but I'm still mad that I only get like one level of progress in each of these videos. That's not okay with me. Should at least get like pretty damn far today. Hopefully, hopefully something doesn't screw up or go wrong like it usually does. Because when that happens makes for not happy me. At least most of the time. But yeah. Um, how was everyone today? It is, uh, one of those days where oh, uh, we almost <laughs> got exactly 300. It's one of those days where the weather outside is frightful. No, the weather outside is kind of, um, I guess you could say it's Rainy, cloudy, dark, damp. You know, the good type. Or at least good in California type. Because I know that that type of weather can be bad in some other parts of the world. But still, we continue on. Oh, this the, yeah, this the part with three of them. Okay. Still picking up bananas. As you can see, I'm much more comfortable now going through this level. Oh my lord, we picked up the checkpoint. Ugh, forgot about that. <laughs> ah, forgot about it. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Anyway. Yeah, back in, um... Someone, this guy, oh man, I can't remember his name, posted a video response to my, uh... My mayhem or Mayan mayhem madness m malarkey video, whatever, whatever I name that, and he uh, he shows one of the cool secrets in the stop and go station, which is as you're entering the level, quite literally just walk backwards and you end up at like the 95% range through the level. It's literally one of the greatest secrets in this game. And a lot of people wouldn't think to do that. They wouldn't think to, okay, once they enter the level, to turn around and go back out through the entrance. And it almost instantly takes you to the end of the level. A lot of people wouldn't expect that. And it happens in that uh, level. Oh my god. Which is quite cool, if I do say so myself. It's actually uh, one of the better secrets in this game. Um, this game has a lot of like shortcuts and secrets like that, but once again, they're difficult as all hell to find. And if I was doing a 100% run, then I might be showing those, but I'm not, unfortunately, because once again, this game is difficult to 100% beat. And I do mean difficult people. Ugh. This whole lights turning on and off business is really not working for the best for me. It's really kind of, um, I guess you could say, killing me at some of these parts. Got a bonus area right there if you just wait for it to go down. Oh god. Of course they have something like this. I'm just gonna leave. And got the letter. Oh wow. 
That is super useful. Huh. Oh my god, but it doesn't help when there's like four of those guys lined up. Holy crap. Yeah, that is a... That steel barrel right there is pretty helpful because you got one of those damn orangutan guys who likes to throw all the barrels down the way and those guys are... Those guys are quite literally some of the worst guys you want to fight in a level like this where you only get a few seconds of visibility. There's actually a feature on this emulator where you could turn backgrounds to video games like the sprites of the background on and off and one day I was tinkering with it and I tried to see if I could make it so that uh, the lights turning on and off if I could turn that off by um, messing with the background sprites but alas it does not work I could make Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong disappear but <laughs> or I could make the platforms I'm walking on disappear and then I'm just walking around in midair so we're gonna get that secret again because we can get an extra life out of it this time if you know the timing of these barrels well enough you can get through that part without even like quite literally thinking that's a uh, pretty handy if I do say so myself <laughs> we got Ong but nothing more. Oh, uh, I saw him. Oh my god, finally! We are out of that place. Thank god. We are at Boss Dumb Drum. And this boss really quite is dumb because he is easy. So he's gonna come down, he's gonna try to smash you, and then he does it as much times as you hit him. Well, you don't really hit him. And then he summons enemies, you beat the enemies, and it counts as you hitting him once. He's one of the biggest jokes in the history of video gaming. There's some enemies, you see like clap traps that he can spawn, which you might have the bad luck of jumping right when their mouths are open to get rid of them. But it's nothing too bad. Also these guys. Not fun when he summons these guys because, well, <sighs> can't really kill him as Diddy Kong. So I guess he's not that easy. Hey, Danielson. Yeah, I've noticed that in all my videos, towards the end, the audio always is like in some way desynced, and whenever I record these things, the audio is always much longer than the video, and I keep wondering why that is, and I'm guessing it's just from lag, but I don't know. I wish I had a way of fixing that, because it's actually really annoying. So now he's going to summon the big guys, which I could get rid of as Donkey Kong. He's going to do five times. He's going to summon what I believe to be his final wave, which is armadillos. And he's dead. And that closes up the factory, ladies and gentlemen. Now we move into Donkey Kong's eyes. Pirate ship's even bigger now. Oh. So, yeah, we're gonna head into the Chimp Caverns. Basically what you're gonna see here is a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, these levels minecart levels and uh, cave levels. This one's probably the worst out of all of them because you got this platform you have to stand on and you pick up fuel along the way. A little timer at the bottom tells you how much fuel you have left. So yeah, and as far as I can tell there's very few parts of this level where you could actually just skip a fuel barrel. Towards the end you can't miss a single one because they're so far apart and so quite literally you have to watch yourself and jump over here grab that fuel see that's a part where if you don't grab that one you're basically screwing yourself over uh shoot okay I guess you have to ditch right there 
no idea how to get that. Okay, so we hit the halfway point. At least we got a checkpoint of some type. Okay, I was about to say, I do not want to miss one at this point. Shoot. Damn it. Okay. Okay. I need to get an extra life so I could keep that uh checkpoint, but I don't nearly have enough bananas to and I don't I can make a save state at the checkpoint I guess. Some LPs consider using save states as cheating, but once again, honestly if I haven't used save states up to this point, we'd still be back at like the fucking like mountains. And that's way too long for Donkey Kong Country LP. In my opinion, it is. Like, we'd be going at this for days. Oh my god. I'm cutting me so close. That's gonna slow down to give us time to jump off. At least it's not like that one level where you're riding on the automatic railing and... Oh shoot, I was supposed to make a save state. There we go. Okay. That one level where you're riding on the rails and it just drops you off at the end of the level. And without warning or anything, it just falls off. And you're supposed to assume, okay, this is the end. Uh, okay. Now you do not want to lose this tire. Because this is one of the ones that you cannot miss. Oh! And look what happens. We missed it. And. Yep. Oh my god. My save state screwed me over. <laughs> Guess I made it out of bad part. Go for it. All right. Just let this naturally shoot us up to grab that one. Yeah, you don't have to be like too cautious. Because I know that there are some parts where people just literally like flip out and they try to stay as far back on the thing as possible. Oh, yeah, this part sucks because they only give you one fuel so. This is where shit gets intense. This is where you can't miss a single one of these. And I was too scared of that. Man, oh man. Hopefully we can make uh, some excellent progress today. Like hopefully this. <laughs> hopefully we can get this on this try. And then we won't have to spend like two videos in here. Like, ah, oh, you did not just do that. But I saved myself. Although I'm not sure that's enough fuel to last till the next one. And you auto fail. Except I'm not sure if they take a life or not. Yep. Ah. <laughs> oh. So yes, they do take a life. And that's another thing. If you run out of, if the platform runs out of fuel and you're not standing on it. Donkey Kong just like gets all depressed and basically you lose a life and you have to start over because it counts as you dying because there's no possible way to beat the level at that point which is unfortunate you'd think that like there'd be a way to make it respawn but no you can't so once again like I said you can't miss a single one or it means just instantaneous death Nice, we didn't lose Donkey Kong right there. You gotta wait for that to, uh... Whoa! You gotta wait for... The exploding barrel to be over the platform. At that part <laughs> way back there. It's totally relevant now. Oh, and we did it! Well, at least we did that part. 
Ugh. We were so close. So close. Yeah, so far. Man, oh man. Why did I do that? Why did I get married? See, I think, uh, this is gonna, like, make some people cry. Maybe s make some people sad. Because, you know, crying and sadness are the same thing. Well, you can cry if you're happy. But, I might stop vlogging because I don't see a point to doing it. And the thing about it is that when I originally started, I even said in my first vlog, this isn't going to be a regular routine thing. I'm not going to be doing these all the time. So don't expect them all the time. And then I, and basically, I was just making them to hint when I was going to start LPing, things like that. And lo and behold, people found it funny, I guess. Um... But the thing about it is that I never intended for this channel to have that many vlogs on it. And now when I look at what's happened, people are now expecting it. And people want it like once a week. And I'm like sitting there going like, no way, Jose. Because, let's face it, <laughs> well, let's face nothing because I'm not really presenting a situation here. My god. The slowdown is incredible. I'm gonna try to get Rambi back. I just have to not have this be timed like ass. Perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity. Go. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? I can't get Diddy? Fine, I'll jump off. But, yeah, I never intended for my channel to be about vlogging, and now people regularly expect it, and the thing is, I don't want to do it regularly. So, we have a predicament. I also have a predicament with that asshole. Got a secret over here. Basically, it's that one bonus room. You got the clap traps. You hit them, bananas come out. Damn. Didn't do that well. Shoot. Well, there goes Rambi. <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to risk Donkey Kong right there. That was all... That was all net. <laughs> or all rim. I don't know. I don't watch basketball, nor do I play it, nor do I care about it. I was like, hey, hey, this place is pretty nice, not just... We've got a cave here, but it's not a secret. Oh no. They actually should have, uh... <laughs> they should have put a cave within a cave. Now you're thinking like, uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Be like, the plot twist is there's a cave within a cave. And everyone's like, damn. What are you? What are you? What are you? I don't know. Misty mine! And boy is it misty. Oh. It actually isn't that misty. It's getting mistier. But... Why they put so many TNT barrels in this level is because of what you just saw. TNT barrels can destroy these enemy spawners. And a lot of people find that <laughs> in this level there are a lot of secrets hidden behind or underneath these enemy spawners and the thing is at the beginning they give you a bunch but you also have to be conservative if you want to get all the secrets in this level 
and I'm just saying forget about it. This level isn't too hard anyways. You don't need shortcuts or secrets to get through it. Oh, and right here when you bounce on all these guys. Ah, uh, if, if a snake pops out of the enemy spawner right at that exact moment, you get a 1-up for bouncing on all those guys in a row. That's one of the uh, more iconic secrets, I guess you could say, in this game. Not a lot of people know about that. Not a lot of people figure that this game is like Mario Brothers, where if you jump on enough enemies in a row, you in turn get a 1-up or something like that. It, this game doesn't seem like it would have something like that in it. Okay, this is good that we have Donkey Kong, not Diddy, playing right here. Because you got armadillos now. But the mine is no longer misty. Which means... Can it be? Will bubblegum really stay in your system for 50 years? Find out next time. Alright, we're making excellent progress in this video. I am loving it. Look at that. The boss is right down there. Let's say we go kick his ass. Oh my god, this level sucks. The gimmick is that the lights turn off every once in a while. The other gimmick <laughs> is that you have these purple clap traps. The purple clap traps jump when you jump. It's pretty much... Um, oh geez. I guess... Uh, I'm gonna guess this, but I'm not sure. It's like Gemini Man and whatever Mega Man game he is and I don't want to think about that right now but Gemini Man and Mega Man his gimmick during his fight is that he jumps when you jump which makes it also very easy to hit him with your weapon because basically you know where he's gonna be Could jump up there not fall next time you know that would be cool Jeez. Oh well. <laughs> we're like already back at where we were. It's, we literally just hit the halfway point. That's another thing. Not all checkpoints in this game are at the halfway point, quote unquote, <laughs> of their levels. There's a vulture on top of that on off switch. Ugh. Hate these clap traps. Hate them. Not nearly as bad as the gray crocodiles. No way. They don't suck that much. Okay. This is the bee gauntlet. Yeah. All you can see is their eyes when the lights turn off. Well, you can probably see more than me on the video. Ugh! I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure at all. I didn't want to, like, be a jackass and jump off there and <laughs> have there not be a platform. Just be like, wow, I suck. And have that be the end of me. Oh, no. Ugh. That didn't just happen, folks. It did not just happen. Well, shoot. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Come on, let's finish this thing. Pick up that thing with your old skinny ass arms. Yeah, the lights always go out over that tire. No idea why. The game programmers were just like, huh, huh. It's gonna go out right as soon as he gets over this damn thing. That's where I died last time. Oh no! Barrels, you know what that means. It's either another copy of me here, or it's one of those fucking orangutans. I know a lot of people who would commonly say that that is their least favorite. Oh, and they throw that purple claptrap at the end just to fuck with you. So next time, next time, ladies and gentlemen, next time, 49%, you know what that means. Next time, we will probably be fighting Last Boss. Can't wait to see you there. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll be your for whatever. Fuck German.